it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Joined by, once again by the Five Foot Wonder from Chicago. We have Jill Sonello here in the, um, not in the house. So look, guys, we're not married. She's in Chicago. Hello. <laughs> Wait, are we still getting that? Yeah. Actually, I was uh, talking to the gentleman I did the uh, Tundra owner review interview. He's like, that's your, no, no. It's, yeah. Not that, nothing against you personally, but we're colleagues. I, um, we, we are going to have to do a live stream at some point that have both of our spouses on. <laughs> right. I'm about to drag them. Well, like, which one of these belongs to the other? And people, you know, with, you know, draw the line. Support the lines. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we got a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, there's been um, some developments in Tim's world and our world. Um, <laughs> And so we have some uh, things coming to the pipeline. We also have um, a quick note before I get too much further on the podcast, live stream, whatever way you're listening to this. Next week, there will not be a live stream. There may not be a live stream for a little while. There, that, so uh, both Jill and I are on the road together the next two weeks. And so if we can, we may we may just do something on the road. If I don't know. We'll see if, if it's ever possible. I don't have no idea what the timing looks like to be, but we'll do our best to get you guys live stream. And then um, I'm home for two no. weeks on vacation, things like that. We might be able to do a live stream from here next Thursday because we'll be back in Chicago in time. So TBD. We'll, we'll yeah. see how we're feeling after like two days in the sun in Wisconsin. Right. We're going to we're gonna work damn well. going to work on it. We're going to do the best we can. So uh, cool stuff with Wisconsin. Lightning's going to be there. Uh, Capstone Hybrid's going to be there. Tundra. Um, yeah. I thought you guys were married. Frank says. <laughs> we are not married. Um, uh, we have an uh, um, off-roading opportunity. It looks like, did you get the email too? It was a little bit light rain in the forecast. That I'm like, came. by the way, this is my husband who is calling me right now because he doesn't look at our calendar <laughs> and know that I have a live stream going on. Uh, Answer the phone. Tell him we're on a live stream. <laughs> but so we actually have some button fun up there. I'm excited for that. Uh, the other development in uh, our world is that uh, I'm getting antsy to buy a new truck. Yes, he is. He and... like, calls me like once a week at least. And he was like, should I buy a new, should I, should I get rid of the Tundra now? Should I buy a new truck right now? And I'm like, no, we're like three months into the year. No. Well, so here's what's going on is that, um, once I can do the review of the Tundra hybrid versus the Tundra, I'll basically have everything I want to done with the truck. I mean, yeah, I could, I'm going to put more miles on it, try to get 10,000 miles, which is about a year. And so, but the other thing that's going on in my head is I need to get stuff ordered. Like I, I was talking to Jim, uh, Jeff, and he's ordering his stuff like nine months out. I'm listening to you guys on the comments. You guys are ordering stuff months out. And I just, I feel like I need to get an order in. I need to get something in just to make sure we have something in the queue and we have future plans. Cause I, I don't want to get like uh, uh I don't want to get caught flat-footed on this. So uh, one of the guys says Ram with a hurricane. I agree. That's the one I want. But here's my problem. It's May, and we haven't heard anything on that engine, nothing on that truck. And that makes me really nervous because typically you hear stuff in, like, January, February, comes out in the fall, right? Or, like, you hear something in the summer. So I reached out to um, uh, Kelly and Wright, who's my Delantis uh, contact, and they're not doing their traditional what's new event either. So what's new is they usually bring about like I don't know what two hundred journalists or so in the Ann Arbor, like in June or July. And yeah, yeah. And, embargoed until September and right, and, and so about it and we all get together and we talk about what's new, what's going on, and get embargo information. And they're not doing that this year. That also makes me nervous. <laughs> it's really nervous because it doesn't sound like anything's going to change with Ram, um, based on the conversation I have with her, like kind of talking to her and timing so where does that leave us so we know that we've had a ford last year so i don't want to repeat two different brands um i don't want to do a another tundra that makes sense um nissan is it's not a, a big seller right so i um, not really interested in that too much um it has this is a, the clarification for business reasons it has to be basically a full-size truck. It, SUVs don't really qualify for tax. They're not heavy enough. Mid-size trucks don't qualify. It's not heavy enough. Oh, bless you. Sorry. Um, I'm like coughing, still getting over a cold here. Right, right. Um, so, you know, so I can't really do an SUV too well. I can't really do mid-size trucks. So it's going to be a full-size truck or heavy-duty truck. So 
that's where we're at. Um, there's nothing really new in heavy duties. Not gonna choose it. So I think that leads us to do do do. So uh, if you're listening to the live podcast. I just put on the screen gmc.com because I'm uh, fancy like that with technology here in <laughs> Nebraska. Um, so, yeah. So here's my thinking is I, I'm kind of on the GM mindset. So I have, an, uh, I have a Silverado. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Jill's well, right. go ahead. No, go. No, I have a Silverado. I have a Silverado. I'm going to say. So say it. Okay. I have a Silverado e-truck on EV avalanche thing on reserve. But I feel like it won't be out till the fall of next year. So it kind of maybe gives me another truck in the mid middle time. Because by the time I get that, it could be the winter. I don't know. It's one of those things. But I have to have a new truck for taxes. I just do. Uh, General Motors, Jeff is here. Uh, Jeff, if you want to hop on this live stream, let me know. Because your input may be very valuable in this conversation. Because we're talking about GM. Um, hit me up on uh, Facebook. Yeah, I'll leave my turn my phone over. So what were you going to say, Jill? I was just going to say, do you really want, it's because you're like, well, I can't have two Fords in a row. Um, do you really want two GM products in a row? Because you do have the um, Silverado EV and it is called the Silverado EV, not the Silverado E, not the Silverado E truck, not the Silverado EV truck, because that's redundant. Um, but, but you do have the Silverado EV on order. So if you get the GMC Sierra, I mean then you're going to be getting the um, Silverado EV. So do you want to do that? And actually, I think it would be very funny if you got a Nissan Titan. Okay, so a few things to unpack there. A, I don't really sound like this. And, and B, <laughs> B I, I agree. I, I don't want to do two GMs in a row. But what else do I have to choose from? Titan! I don't, but there's nothing... The the views on the Titan. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Jeff has has Jeff can't join us. He's taking care of his newborn baby girl, which he oh. needs to. So uh, congrats again on that. So yes, congratulations. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I could have this through the end of the year. Buy something in the spring. Do something in the spring and have the the Silverado EB in the fall or winter. So you want to buy two trucks next year? Is what I'm hearing you say. I actually, I kind of do. I kind of want to have two trucks right now. Somebody has a little bit of a, a case of ADHD going on. What's well, not ADHD? I just, you know, I just, yeah. It's do you time really to want to buy it and get into a cycle of buying three trucks a year, two trucks a year? Because, you know, once you buy two trucks, you're going to be buying like three trucks. And that's not going to be enough either. And You it, know, I feel like sometimes you're just a gigantic buzzkill. Killjoy, just call me a killjoy. All right, Killjoy, let's spend the boss's money. Let's go. So uh, the question is, let, let, we got to buy something. Let's buy the GM. So here's my thing for you. You have driven both the ZR2 and you've seen the Sierra, Silverados and you've driven the Sierra and AT4 and the Ultimate, the Nolly Ultimate. So, um, yeah, Ram's not getting a face like lift anytime soon, guys. I just, I, I just don't think it's going to. But um, anyways, let's take on topic. What do you think? If you were to, if you've driven these trucks, you spec them out. What should we buy for the channel, Jill? You know this business. You've been a part. Of, you're coming up on. Uh, by the way, guys, almost two years she's put up with me. Almost two, and so two years next month. So, what do you think? What What should we do? Guide me, Jill. Okay. Obi Wan Kenobi, your only hope. No, guide me. <laughs> I, I I like the uh, Rivian suggestion. That is completely off the wall, bonkers. We know Cybertruck isn't going to be ready. So um, I, I don't know. I, I That's kind of an interesting thought there is um, the Rivian. Um, well, so and, the question is, can you actually get one before year end? I mean, maybe. That would be a good question. Because we know the Lightning sold out, right? And we know the uh, uh, F-150, they're going to take orders in July for the 2023 20, model year, but basically sold out right now. So I don't know. So, I mean, if you wanted to go with a GM product, which I'm not telling you you should, or I think it's a good idea. Um, I, if, if, I, if you're saying I'm buying a GMC, which one is it? I would say AT4X. Okay. So <laughs> would you go Silverado or GMC? A GMC. Silverado. You'd go what? I told you AT4X. So you're, 
Okay, so AT4X is what Jill is saying. So let's go over here. And uh, let's see. So let's build and price. Because build and price is always fun. Have you done many build and prices? I have. Have you? All right. So I, I do them every time I write a review, Tim. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? So I'm just, I got to make sure I got these windows open. Oh. I know. You're, you're putting up with me. I am, in fact, I'm 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 putting up with you. I, I, we're, I, I need I need my bourbon or alcohol of some sort to put up with you tonight because you are in like full mode. <laughs> um, hold on, I gotta share, gotta share another window. Darn thing. Um, let's see if Nebraska Tim is technology technology forward enough to share another screen. I know. I'm gonna figure out what's going Anybody, on. Anybody place your bets, guys. What do What do you think? I Can don't you think do I it? Can you not do it? No, I don't think I can. I got to. I got to do it the screen. It's so annoying, annoying. All right, I will figure this out. I'm gonna be fast like this. Fast, quick, quicker and quick. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one. No, yes. It open every. This is annoying. Every time you do this, it opens up a new screen, and then you got to add a new screen. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have asked you to place bets. Maybe I should have asked you, like, how long it would take to figure this out. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have my watch on right now, or else I'd have my stopwatch on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have my phone. Let's let's see. We will we will get the uh, stopwatch going. I am there. I am there. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Saved now, by the, the phone watch. Okay. I just, I got to figure out how to do this on the same screen. All right. So <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. Here we go. I can't read it's the comments. Those of you gotta... who cannot see what he's doing, you, you're going to have to like talk the podcast people through this. All right, uh, Doug, I can't do a SUV that well because SUVs don't really well for taxes. So it's got to be something. All right. So let's, I don't need help building my vehicle. Leave me alone. All right, here we go. So <laughs> he actually probably does need help building his not. vehicle. <laughs> uh let's see regular, i don't want to do a regular cab because i have kids in the room double cab there's never that much space really crew cabs where it's at right so two grand more crew cab over double cab so i i don't have a need for a six and a half foot box i know people argue about this all the time five and a half foot six and a half foot whatever i don't have a big need for one so i always do five and a half joseph's like uh -huh, whatever well, it's a short bed yeah. Well, okay. Well, while, while he's doing this, here's another thing to ponder and argue about. Um, when they say short bed, standard bed, long bed, I we argue about this all the time because I think the standard bed is the middle size. So in this case, it would be the six foot bed. And he says the standard bed is the short bed. And I'm like, well, if it were the short bed, then they would call it the short bed. So he's saying the standard bed is the five foot whatever box. I'm saying it's the six foot box. So feel free to comment below and let us know what you think it is because I think I'm right. Uh, so, and the thing is every brand does this differently. So no, they really don't. They all call it the standard box, the long box or the short box. <laughs> Maybe not. They do. <laughs> all right, we're doing. Box is the six foot one. Moving along. I thought you were had a cold. Aren't you supposed to be after your game tonight? Uh, right. I, oh wait, this, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> <laughs> we can do four wheel drive. So I don't, the pro is the work truck, right? I, and this is an interesting question. The two seven has been improved. So out of the engines, the two seven is the only one that's been improved this model year. Keep that in mind. I don't know that I do two seven. So elevation, yes, SLT. Okay, AT4, uh, AT4X, there we go. So there's Denali, which I don't, didn't know. So here we go. AT4X with the 6.2 liter, Ecotech 3 V8, the gas guzzler with premium fuel, or do you spend the $4,000 more and get the three liter Duramax turbo diesel in Denali Ultimate? No. You don't like, so wait a minute. You like the AT4X more than Denali Ultimate? Yes. <laughs> I love how there's never like any conversation with you. It's like, ta, 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 ta. I, okay, so I like the way the AT4X looks better than the Denali Ultimate. I mean, not that the Vader Chrome whatever, whatever, um, not that that looks bad, but I just, I like the way the AT4X looks. I like the wheels. I like, you know, the tires. Um, I also liked how it drove on road. 
um, you know, you and I had the conversation while we were in the truck that um, the um, the the Sierra ZR or Sierra the Silverado ZR2 felt a little bit squishy on road and it was great off road, but it just felt a little bit squishy, like driving on the highway or whatever. Whereas I felt that the AT4X was a little bit more well balanced, um, but still had the off road capability that the ZR2 has. I mean, maybe not quite as much, but I, I think it's pretty much there. And um, it has most of the luxury amenities. I mean, okay, it's minus a few of the, um, the uh, what is it? The, the, I'm completely, the terrain maps or whatever that you have everywhere, the top topographic maps, that's it, that you have on the dash and the door and the back of the seat. Like you're minus some of those in the AT4X. And you don't have some of the, you know, ooh, cool stitching. Um, but otherwise, like AT4X is really well optioned and very upscale. Um, and I mean, I, I think the Denali Ultimate is just like a little bit over the top. Okay. Here's my, it, it, no, I mean, that's a good point. My, my, my thing is I really want this Duramax diesel. Me, why are you? I thought for sure you'd go with the Dolly Ultimate, and then you made a whole case about the AT4X. Yeah, AT4X. Why do you want the Dolly Ultimate? I want the diesel engine. Hmm. Hmm. Why do you want the diesel? The fuel economy and the way it performs. And I've always wanted a diesel. I always want to have some diesel. I loved that engine for a long time. So can you get the – so this is maddening. This is absolutely stupid maddening. You can get the 3-liter Duramax diesel and the AT4, but you can't get an AT4X. That is a little maddening. That's garbage. So here – so here – all right, so let's say we do AT4X. Okay. Change my stuff. Oh, why did, what, did all, what all did that change? I only had option full drive and – that is a good looking truck. All right. I don't know what it changed. It just said it changed. Um, well, did you check short box or standard box initially? I had short box initially. Okay. Because that's a five foot bed, by the way. <laughs> but can you get that? Somebody asked, they said, if you always buy five foot beds, why not get a six and a half foot bed this time? I thought that was a really good comment. So let's this see. This is only optioned as um, crew cab short box. I think so too, right? It is. No, I, I know 100% it is. So do we have any other options? So we could do a Pro, we can do SLE, Elevation, SLT. You can go Denali. That's You can't do anything else. Okay, so well, once again, Jill's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, moving along. Um, <laughs> okay, so AT4. I just, like I said, I wish it had the, I don't know why it doesn't have diesel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so the exterior color, uh, right? The cayenne red tin coat. I I do really like that titanium rush. So let's see what it looks boring. like. Boring. You think that's boring? Yeah, I want the blue. You want the uh, the dynamic? dynamic blue metallic? Yes. That is hot. Hmm. I like blue trucks. Okay. So, and we, yeah, that's right. There's no other choice. It's just the one color. <laughs> Packages. Cargo convenience. So this is, a, so uh, Dave from All Train Nation, I've been talking about this, this console mounted safe. It's become a thing. And I think in Chicago, I'd probably have one. But it's been like there's Tuffy, which makes them for aftermarket as well. Companies have been offering these console mounted safes. And I'm like, I don't know if I've ever thought about having a safe in a truck. I thought this was interesting. I wanted to see a picture of this. Rear under seat storage. <laughs> Specifically for um, guns, it looks like. Yeah, right. <laughs> but do you remember seeing that in the vehicles we drove? Uh, we didn't we didn't lift up the seats. Yeah, we you didn't. Know, the one thing that I did notice was the, and, and, or I should say I didn't notice in the Denali Ultimate, I don't remember there being um, the seat back, like cubby storage thing in the back seats. Whereas I, in the AT4X, I remember seeing 
the seat storage. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. Look, I think we take a look at the interior. Jeff is saying blue gets old fast. Do you agree? Nope. No, it does not. <laughs> you met Jeff, right? Yeah. yeah. There's no arguing with it. Yeah. Yeah, so there... still at dinner, remember? Right. It was but by there... the heater. <laughs> <laughs> um is that the storage there? Yeah, so the AT4, yeah, that that, yeah, that I'm like thing, I'm yeah. trying to point at the screen and not that you can see me pointing at the screen. Um yeah, so that's so they have it on the AT4X, but I don't remember them having it on the Denali Ultimate. That's interesting. I don't remember seeing the Denali Ultimate either. But I, okay. I mean, we we only got to see the Denali Ultimate for like two seconds. So that's kind of maddening. It. All right, engine block heater, don't need that. Not to get that cold. Body color wheel arch moldings. Oh, so I can body color this wheel arch blue. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, so here's the thing. If you're gonna take this truck off road, like that shit's gonna get chipped. Yeah, I just I, I just think it's amusing that you have so many um, hard and fast answers. You have good logic behind the answers. I, I know what I know. I could tell you my logic, but I don't know that you want it. So I'm just like, no, you can ask me to explain. <laughs> All right. Uh, steps. Steps are important. Are they? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> are they? Such yes. A tall person, are they? I, no, I have a hard time. I have to get in with steps because I, I destroy the seat. I actually slide across the seat. So what do you think? You like off-road black assist steps or do you like these, the high clearance steps? I like the high clearance steps, the rock rally looking ones. Yep. Is that what that was? That was the rock rally one, wasn't it? Yep. And this one is, no, oh, don't do that. Um, That one just comes up more. Yeah. That's, that's more of a actual like running board. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time I'm not going to be off road. I'm not going to off road that much with this truck. So when I want the high clearance steps, or no, the the assist steps, these. No. Because <laughs> they don't look good. I like the other ones better. The way it looks. Does that it doesn't? That's too bad. It doesn't add it on the picture. Oh, well, it does something there, doesn't? Yeah, I guess they're there. Huh. Okay. So eighteen inch wheels. The I mean, the only, the only thing that you can't get on the AT4, other than the diesel engine that you can get on the Denali Ultimate, is a feature that I don't think you really want. What's that? Super Cruise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you can't get Super Cruise. Yeah, you um, can't get Super Cruise on the AT4X. No, this is a developing story. Uh, they are saying no. I, I was clicking on earlier, and Super Cruise is delayed. These are the rock rocket guards. That's the ones we had. Well, those are the, yeah. Okay. I think I'll stay with those. Yeah. Okay. Um, Multi-pro step lights. I'll provide more light. I love the de definition. Multi-pro tailgate step lights helps provide more light. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, interior. Anything we can do there? So hold on a second. I, I want to go back to the Super Cruise for a second. It's a, everybody's saying you can't get it on either. My I, and and granted, I have been like at my parents' house for a week, so I've been under a rock, literally. Um, but does that mean like you can't get it, period, or it would be sent later as an over the air update? Um, you know what? Let's do this. Um so you can't get Super Cruise on the AT4. X. So X. let me let me go let me go here. Let's finish this off. And our price is eighty seventy nine thousand seven ninety whatever seventy nine seven eighty five. Okay, so uh, that's that's that one. But let me go back to here and go because there's a message on this that talks about uh, the eighty four. Uh, no, the uh, okay screw capture, but trims Denali Ultimate, the one I want. <laughs> okay, then if you click on this up here, it's something. Oh, I think you got to finish it all the way. So across, and I think uh, Jeff made the comment on what it is. So when you go to summary, it goes. Oh, where's it at? Selected options, thirty nine hundred dollars back. Because it's, uh, yeah, 
not equipped with super cruise and enhanced automatic emergency braking. And it's not equipped with front and rear park assist. That right there would be a deal breaker for me. I would go with the truck that already doesn't have it. Yeah, the AT4X doesn't have it. So it says yeah. not equipped. So I don't, and this is not equipped with the steering column lock. I know Jeff's in, in live stream, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's not constrained. It's not available to be, it's not available to be retrofitted. So you can't, you can't retrofit it either. Yeah. So you can't even, you know, it's like, I don't want that feature anyways, but the giving... you don't want it, but like it, it's supposed to have it. Therefore I would buy the truck that already doesn't have it. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. The, the Dolly Ultimate, it, I just clicked the buttons. I didn't go through too quickly, but with the diesel, it's $80,290. So I'm looking at a difference of 500 bucks. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I mean, I'm sure I got I'm sure this price goes up because I didn't add. Except- I'm like going in there to scroll. Like that's my screen. <laughs> like, so grabbing me, my mouse. Let's build. The, let's build this the way that we want to build this. So let's build okay. this with the. Okay. So this is this is like this is the the conversation I have with myself all the time. So I would like to. I would go the three to D. So because I think that's a great powertrain. Colors. Uh, let's see. See boring colors. What about Pacific Blue? Yeah, I mean it's okay. <laughs> wonk wonk. Pop, it's boring. All right, what would you pick? Would you do the white? No. Titanium rush. I mean, I would probably. I mean, maybe if you're making me choose one of those colors, which are all awful, I'd probably go with a quick silver metallic. Okay. I don't. I can't believe you don't like titanium rush. What is it about Titanium Rush you don't like? I mean, it's fine. It's I, it's fine. So it's just fine. It doesn't... I don't look really bad at uh, <laughs> It just looks black. It like, looks better in person, though. Eh, it looks okay. black. Okay. Packages. I just can't... I can't... I can't go with a silver truck. You know why silver truck? Silver and white, to me, are work trucks. Well, all of these are just boring colors. Okay. I don't disagree. I think there could be some better colors here. Uh, wheels, seven. I would like a nice wheel. burgundy. Yeah. Like a wine color. That that would be lovely. I kind of want the cat back exhaust, but I'll skip it for now. No, ton- no. And it comes with the steps already, so you don't have to worry about, yeah. There's no options there. It's their power yeah. running board, right? Yeah, I just wish they had a Penner moonroof. I understand why they just got the small little moonroof or the sunroof, whatever they're going to call it. Um, Save the premium front liners, removal carpet insert. Uh, okay, auxiliary challenge. So, yeah, not equipped. So this, I, what's it? Certain vehicles built on or after 6 13, 2022 will be forced to include not equipped, with which removes mercy braking and the super crew. So Joe will have a story on that tomorrow, and we'll just move along. <laughs> and except we didn't do accessories other ones so yeah we have eighty thousand two hundred ninety dollars eighty two ninety so so here's my other question like will it have heated seats heated steering wheel i think that's i believe that is what they've added back they took out parking sensors and super cruise yeah, because I just, I don't know. I The stuff that GM is taking out of their vehicles are deal breakers for me. Yeah. I know it's a work truck. should be white or gray. I get it. I just, <laughs> I'm not that kind of construction worker. All right. So, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. For me, it's 500 bucks difference. So, you guys got to comment below. What do you guys, would what would you guys do? $500 difference. Would you go AT4X? Would you go Denali Ultimate? Um so you get the diesel engine or you get a really cool truck that looks good and has all the functionality it's supposed to have when you buy it <laughs> in a good color. Uh, yeah, that, that's Jill. That's Jill going back and forth. But let's do something. Jill logic. Jill logic. So let me go over here and let me do this. Because this I, I enjoy this kind of stuff. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. Are, are you going to try and bring up yet another screen? Huh? 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. So, what would we build at Chevrolet? Hmm. All right. So let's start with this. Let's go vehicles. Uh, where am I at? Trucks. Okay. So, Silverado ZR2, which is pretty badass. Um, big fan. That was a picture of us there, um, actually catching air. <laughs> Right. Or That's I was cool. driving. <laughs> You're trying to freak me out. Here's my issue, though, is that the uh, uh, Silverado ZR2 TFL just bought one. Yeah, no, I you just, can't do that. I, yeah, I don't think I could do that. I think they, they beat me the punch. That's okay. All right, so let's uh, build in price. Boop -doo -doo. All right, so we'll do standard bed because, again, I always have five and a half foot. Let's go six and a half foot. Trims. So we have four wheel drive. Uh, there's work trucks, custom, custom trail boss, which is really cool. You get the custom trail boss and three other diesel. That is really cool. Um, the seats are terrible though. RST, LT trail boss, LTZ. There's high country or, oh, I, I did the long bed. So you can't do the Silverado or the, you can't do the ZR2. So if I went high country with this, which I, you know, did we, did we look at the high country very closely? I think we, we filmed it. But we didn't drive it, right? We just kind of were able to look yeah. at it. Yeah, I, I feel like we, I mean, you know what? I think it was the high country we were in that we were um, playing with Super Cruise. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so do they have cooler colors? Yes, the cherry red tint coat. Ooh. All right, cherry red tint coat. You got that. That looks, that looks really good. I really like that. It's got a lot of chrome in the front, but I don't mind it too much because it's got a lot of body color around it too. Hmm. Okay, so um, interior color. I wish, can I see interior? There's jet black or jet black. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can have any color you want as long as it's jet black. Oh, remember it had the blue accents? Oh, that's what that um, is. That's night yeah. shift blue. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Is that the... Uh... And it's okay. like a dark, dark blue. Let me click the other one, see what happens. Oh, yeah. look, up, look above that dash. Yeah. Yeah. I like that night shift blue. But would that look weird with a red exterior? No. Okay. All right. High Country Premium Package, the Power Sunroof. I can't believe that Power Sunroof doesn't come as a standard equipment. That's kind of crazy. So let's go with that because I really do want that. Uh, Oh, we got to go 22 inch wheels too. And adaptive ride control. Wow. Quite a bit of changes to get the. Uh... That was weird. It said, it said it was. Hold on. Why is it discounted? Yeah, look at the price change 20, 25. But then. So it... What aren't you getting that you're supposed to be getting on it? I know, but look, look, the pricing is all weird, isn't it? Yeah, because it says the. I, and here I am pointing at the screen again. And you can't see me, what I'm pointing at, but the. Um, yeah, it says discounted price. So that tells me that you can't get something on it that you're supposed to be getting. Okay. Well, we'll see what they do at the end. I still swear it discounted price 1925, but look at the price. Look at the price here, 66, 870. And I click the button and so it should be 68, 870, right? And now it's 69, 695. Sounds weird. This is why I don't like building price tools and websites. Oh, and I, so then you can't get adaptive cruise control unless you get technology package. Man, oh man, like nickel and dime you here. I, I hate that General Motors does that crap where they, oh, if you want safety technology, you have to get the premium package. Oh, right. So then max trailering package. If I want to tow anything, I can't have, I can't have the sunroof and a towing package. Just people who tow don't look at the sun, apparently. <laughs> right? Um, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to tow. I mean, so I can't have a sunroof if I tow. That's ridiculous. Can I do this without doing any more damage? No, I, I can't have the max trailering with the off-road package. Okay, whatever. Now I'm just going to fuck with you. <laughs> 
So I have the 20 inch wheels. Okay, great. I don't wheels. I mean, look at all the price in the wheels. People get nuts and stuff. Tires, mechanical. Yes, yes. Okay. It doesn't have the dynamic fuel management system, which is I'm fine with. So I, do I have to select it? Oh my goodness. I'm not taking all that off. <laughs> no way. Uh, skid plates. Can I get skid plates? No, I can't get skid plates unless I take off the trailering package. Because what? you can't get the off-road package with skid plate or with the towing package. Oh my gosh. Can I add a sunroof? All right, I can add a sunroof. Whew. Power retractable assist steps. Can I add those? Okay, all right. That's power retractable running boards. Why does everybody have to have their own stupid names? Exactly. These are steps to make it easier to get in and out of your truck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Retracts are not in use. Because they the, are assist steps. Is that the retractable means? All right, uh, let's skip the rest. No black badging. Outside power adjustable vertical trailer. Oh, do I get trailer mirrors? I have to add chrome mirror caps too. Okay, those mirrors are ugly. They were ugly in 2019. They're still ugly now. I will skip those for now. They're useful. They're just ugly. Okay. Interior. Bucket seats. Uh, yeah. Has a display, adaptive cruise control, rear camera mirror. Yes. Don't need the seat storage, which is interesting. This was just a bin, I guess. Huh. Um, I can't get front and rear park assist because that's off because of the shortages. So I have... What's my so summary? Uh, seventy one five thirty. This is a question. So let's see if GM Jeff's on here. Uh, seventy one five thirty. So it's seven grand cheaper to do the Silverado High Country versus this GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Are you, uh, do you see seven grand? I mean, there's just a lot of things you can't get on the Silverado that you can get on um, the Sierra. So, yeah, I see it. So what 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 do you think you can't get or can get? So uh, we're talking about um, massaging seats, right? But there's also a lot of featured elite items and you can't get like towing with trailering. Or with off road, and you can't like. There, it just seems like there's a lot of limitations. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I was unimpressed with that build. <laughs> unimpressed by that build. So yeah, I don't know. It. I mean, it's it's a good looking truck, right? So if I go back to the like the red thumbs right. up on the red and the blue interior. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. I just. I can't believe you can't get off road with I can't you can't get skid plates with a trailering package. That's ridiculous. So I don't know. I, I, Eight thousand dollars. The interesting part is like the um, Tundra Limited. I want to buy that for sixty two, sixty four some of that range out the door sixty six something like that deal. So I'm not that far off doing the highest trim level Chevy. Yeah. I'm still not convinced that you should get a General Motors product. Oh, what are you what are you looking at right now? I can see your eyes going on your screen. No, I'm just looking at the comments. Oh, okay. Cuz they're all saying that I'm right about the standard bed versus the short bed. <laughs> Thank you for that by the way. <laughs> Somebody says I think Jill is really holding back. Tell us what you really think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Towing difference between so towing difference you should tow about the same payload will be different um, depending on equipment but it can't be that far off the problem is you can't look up payload online you can only look up towing online that's the frustrating part so I don't think there's going to be anything there and diesel diesel is expensive right now it is really expensive so that's another question mark to have there too I just like it the fuel economy is much better um, versus this especially versus six point two um, I don't know. It's it's what to do, what to do. So let's say this. 
Um, can you even get a Rivian? So you could go completely the other direction mm -hmm. and buy like a base work truck with a column shifter and, you know, like the towing package and, but like go completely base. I wonder if you could even, you should see like, what is the most basic truck you can get and get that? Like, I want to see a truck with, um, the roll up your windows, the manual crank. Can, okay. Is that even possible? Let's build it. I think you got to go. I think you have to go regular cab. But honestly, at this point, um, the, the challenge with work trucks for me is they're just, it sounds really stupid, is they're not expensive enough. <laughs> I, you know, I want the write off, and you just tend to, you want to spend more money because it, it's to your benefit. But let's look at it. Let's look at a work truck, work truck. Okay, come on. No, no, no. Come here. Um, building price. Okay, so I think it's regular cab. Standard bed. Or, well. Okay, let's start there. I think it's a... We'll do a long bed so we have more room there. Trims. Okay. Um, yeah, WT is their base work truck. So let's go 27. 27 is the newest engine, right? So that's got more performance. Uh, it's, it's got more improvements in torque, I believe is what they're saying. So there is your basic work truck. I got steely wheels. I still got the bumper step, which is really... kind of look cool. <laughs> it does kind of look kind of cool, doesn't it? I don't know about the long bed. I mean... Hmm. Okay, what's the interior like? So, Oh, it's got the... the it's got the old infotainment... That's because it's W. That's because the work truck. Yeah. Ew. Does it have? Uh, so let's let's finish building this. But uh, you're like, ew. Hey, they've got glacier blue metallic. They and do. And they've got a hot red. Let's glacier blue metallic. It is. Uh, cloth seats. I can do jet black with the uh, vinyl trim. I think it's still got power windows. Okay, work truck value package, deep tenant rear fog, hitch guidance, cruise control, trailing package. Sometimes it, you can talk about it'll add the roll up windows there. Safety package, painted mirror caps, perimeter, perimeter lighting, rear cross traffic braking, lane alert. Uh, okay. I wonder what perimeter lighting is. Details on that. Convenience, crew cab and double cab muscle, models also include heated power mirrors. So, um, no, I'm not seeing anything about the uh, roll up windows. Yeah, no, I think there's still power windows. You know, I feel like on our website, <clears throat> a few about maybe about a year ago, we did maybe less than that, maybe eight months ago. We I think we did a web or a can you still get manual crank windows? Um, uh, we did, and I think it's just I think it's Ford only. I'm like, one moment, please. Let's see. Okay, so let's do uh, a rectangular assist steps. One thing we're going to do. Cool. So it's got steps. Perimeter lighting. What is perimeter lighting? Tell me that stuff. Uh, I got it. So I have to add cruise control. Oh, I have to... And we'll add the work truck value package. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I'm I'm going back to the the manual crank windows. So it looks like um, the Ford F one fifty XL with the regular cab, super cab, super crew, um, and then Ram offers manual windows in the bare bones regular cab, regular cab fifteen hundred classic tradesman. Mm-hmm. So it looks like those are the only two. So to add perimeter lighting, I have to go with chrome bumpers. <laughs> chrome looks terrible. Oh, much better. Okay. What's the interior? Bench seat. Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, okay, all that kind of stuff. USBs. Window, hitch guidance, accessories, yes, all that kind of stuff. So 41,655 is our number. And that 
is almost about 30,000 less than the high country. <laughs> it's, it's quite a difference. Um, I, yeah, I think the custom trail boss. Okay, trust Ranger Raptor. I'm hearing Ranger Raptor is getting built sometime soon, what I'm hearing. You need um, the Ranger, the, or you need the Raptor R if you're going to go with a Ford truck. Oh, yeah. But you could do Ram TRX if you want to go back to the Ram idea. I mean, it's a little bit, it's not new at this point, but it's still cool. It is, but it's a lot of money. So if I went, let me, I have to go. Okay, you're talking about buying an $80,000 truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a lot of money. I can do the Duramax and the Custom Trail Boss. That looks badass. What's the interior look like? Uh, it's got the bad interior. You have to go. That's right. You have to go LTZ or something, don't you? Let's try oh, LT. LT. I think it was LT on up. Yeah. yeah. You have to go LT. So to get the new interior, which, I, which I'd have to have, um, it's 55 and the high country was 71. So that's where we're at. Aha, the window still worked. All right, so let's. So, all right, you, Ram. So the Ram TRX starts at 77. Yeah, that's so expensive compared to what you were looking at. <laughs> I think it, I actually think the Ram TRX is sold out first. I think that's what their, uh, my uh, BFF Koval is telling me. Um, but your man crush could get it for you, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, the Super Hemi, all kind of stuff. Okay. Carbon fiber package. Advanced safety group. I have to do. I have to add this stuff to get cruise control. I don't need it's the title. adaptive cruise control. It is. It is adaptive cruise control. Uh, spray and bed liner, which is always a good thing. I like spray and bed liners. Uh, carbon fiber. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> not. So Just, look, I'm at ninety three. And you're I trying to price yourself out of it. That's but, what you're doing. But I've only clicked on three options. I'm at ninety three. Tony, it's too expensive. What is the, uh, what did you say? You said tradesman, right? You said the tradesman. Yes, the classic. I don't know if I see classic on here. Probably because you're in the Ram 1500, not the classic. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's speed, the Pentastar, anti slip. Differential class, okay, packages, Chrome appearance, Chrome plus, electronics group. Let's just see what it looks like bare bones. Can I see the interior, exterior? White, white work truck, lighting, wheels, Chrome wheels for the win. Interior. All right, I'm going to see interior. Explorer 360. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> and make Jill sick here. I'm trying to. You're going to make everybody else sick. I've got a strong stomach. It's right there, right? I think so. I think there is. I think it. If that is, that is an odd low... location. That's a low place, man. You got to take your, you almost got to take your hand down to your knee. And, to your chin, and actually. with my driving position, I would not be able to reach that because my seat would be covering it. <laughs> Yeah, so you would have no way to roll down the window. That'd be kind of that'd be fun. I just have to like buy one of those gadgets to like break out the glass. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, it's at the old interior. Boy, work truck guys get screwed. All I want to say, they get screwed on stuff. That is not a good looking interior. So that's uh, yeah, but that's twenty seven, twenty seven thousand. I could buy. I could buy three work trucks next year or this year. Three. I don't know. Ford Lightning. You can't get so you can't get the Ford Lightning. It's sold out. I mean, I could probably make phone calls and stuff, but it's pretty much sold out. Hmm. <laughs> uh, here's a th question. This is a good question. Comes up all the time. What do you folks think is better? Buying something relatively base and modifying an aftermarket as you like or getting a high trim that is what has what you need. 
Speaking of things like <laughs> um, I will tell you that the more I do this job, the more I've come to believe that if you don't buy a truck with the features you want on it, you really can't upgrade that much because the technology of the software systems and the new uh, radios that are built in make it really difficult to add your own stuff later on. You can do it, but it's a lot more difficult. So like, for example, the guy that I interviewed, he had the SR5 Tundra. He wanted to add the push button for the uh, rear tailgate, drop tailgate. The wiring's not there. He wanted to add rear USBs on the center console. The wiring wasn't there. So he, in the past, the wiring had been already pre-run. You just plug stuff in. But nowadays, trucks, you can't do that. So if, I think if you're doing lift, tires, uh, if you're doing that kind of stuff, I, definitely aftermarket. But I think inside the cabin, especially the radio, especially the way new infotainment systems are, you know, like I can't imagine with my Tundra, I can't imagine that you would pull that 14 inch display out and put like a Pioneer in. Like I just, I don't think it's possible. And with the over the air updates, it's yeah. really not possible. No. No, but I mean, you could, you could buy like the base truck and then you could customize it with new seats. You could, right. you know, change or change the seating surfaces. You could paint it, you know, buy your Denali ultimate for $80,000 and then paint it at real color. Um, but no base truck, base truck. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, I mean, I think those are the kinds of things like putting lifts on it at, you know, changing the wheels, adding like running boards that look good. You know, I think those are the kind of modifications that he was talking about, not, um, yeah, even, I, I, even as, you know, all trains as speakers, you know, it's not the system itself. It's the speakers and subwoofers and, you know, that kind of thing that you can modify. I think, yeah, I think you probably could. I just, I don't, I'd be curious to see how it works with the MTM systems, the way they're built in to change the sound, you know, modulization inside the, the screen and stuff. I'd be curious to see how that works out. Cause I'm not, I, I, I just haven't seen it. Like it used to be back in the day, that you would buy the lower trim and the higher trim would just be leather seats. And so you could just get the higher trim with leather seats on it. And basically what it was going to be, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't anything that big, but nowadays the difference between trims is pretty massive. There's lots of differences. And I just don't think it's as easy as it used to be. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's a, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> Todd Dembski comments that keep in mind that fuel will be hard to get this summer. There is a lot of talk in Northeast about fuel pricing um, for diesel. I've been following that pretty closely. He says, get the one that gets the best mileage. North Platte is a terrible place to run out of the gas. Uh, North Platte, Nebraska is a terrible place to run out of the gas. <laughs> it really is. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's it's an interesting discussion. I'll give you guys' viewpoints. What do you guys think? I mean, it, literally, I, I, I could actually, it'd be kind of fun for a couple of videos, do a three work truck comparison. But I could probably do that right now. I think there's enough work trucks and diddle lots I can get to. I don't think there's any difference there. And I'm not sure why... I'd, I would um, buy one for that and keep it for a while. Because then plus carrying the kids and the family, it just doesn't work. So, but Denali Ultimate AT4X difference is 500 bucks. Denali Ultimate Silverado High Countries, seven dollars $8,000 difference. Hmm. Goatee rub time. Hmm. AT4X, if you're forcing me into a GM product, forcing you in so what would you have us buy i think you're being impatient and i think you're freaking out for no reason but that's just me okay so, but wait i mean so what would you buy it's your business uh -huh. you're in my my position you have to buy something i told you what i would buy but you didn't like my sense of humor <laughs> oh, you I might. think it would be funny. Well, all right. Um, you Rivian then. Well, either the Rivian or the Nissan Titan. That's what I would buy. The thing is, the Titan doesn't have nothing really that new to it. Still think it would be funny. Okay, but Rivian, can you get a Rivian? I that I don't know. Um, you could. Um, Probably reach out. We now have the PR person's contact information. Yeah. So how much? Let's do this. How much are they? Have you ever shopped for Rivian? I've looked at their build and price tool for things, but I don't. 
I couldn't say tell you what it what what it was. Okay. So let's check it out. We got a few minutes here. Um, starting at you're 67. Gonna, but you're uh, going to want the extended range battery. Okay. So, so for, I will say um, at, um, at Rebel, they, at the last training that I went to, there were four Rivians there. And um, they, I know they're going to be entering at least one, if not two trucks into Rebel this year. And it was funny because I was telling my partner, I was like, do you think, like, could we just go over and make nice with the 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 Rivian? Because it was all engineers and product people who were there. I'm like, can we go make nice with them and have them? And maybe they'd let us drive it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I, I mean, we we haven't driven it yet, and I've 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 gotten into the gear tunnel, um, and I've been in the frunk, um, but you know, we we haven't driven it yet, and so I'm like, I'm just really curious. I, I and everything I've heard from people is incredibly favorable. Yeah, so I'm on Rivian.com right now, looking at stuff in configurator. It actually has a delivery timing. Learn more, and it says if you're an existing pre pre-order holder, you can update your existing configuration or delivery address. Could impact your delivery timing, as shown in the table below. So they have they have really pushed things out. So. Uh, if you were to get an a non-launch edition, twenty-three or twenty, be twenty twenty-three, twenty twenty-four, for the quad motor max pack, which is the four hundred mile range, the large pack. Let me let me go through the, the information here. So the large pack is three hundred fourteen miles of range. The standard pack is not available with quad motor. The max pack is four hundred miles of range, which is ten thousand dollars more. That's just crazy electric vehicles. You know, 90 miles of range is 10 grand more. Maybe That's more. because people freak out about range. Right. So. And so people will pay that so that they don't have to freak out about range, which again, I will say range is not the problem. The charging infrastructure is. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind the range. Um, one thing that's interesting was Sean Holman has one of these with motor trend. He has a motor trend loaner. And he actually stopped and charged the Rivian up. I thought it was really interesting. He he uh, put 270 miles on the Rivian to charge it up, and it was an hour of charging, and it cost him 50 bucks to get 270 miles of range. And I'm like, so it's not any cheaper than gas. But know? I mean, it is if you charge at home. Right. If I mean, you that, are charging on the road. I mean, charging on the road or on a road trip, you're you're. They're going to gouge you, but right. because they can, because they know you need it. But charging at home is where you save the money. So, okay, you pay 50 bucks and spend an hour three times a year when you take a road trip. Yeah, no, I, that's, that was the, I was going to make the same point. It is, is interesting how that works out. All right. Uh, large pack paint, silver wheels. Okay. So, we're looking at 79,000. And did I do the quad motor? No. What's the difference? Yeah. Quad, uh, quad, so quad motor is most capable. One motor for each wheel. Dual motor has one in the middle. So quad motor is a second faster. Yeah, yeah more horsepower. More horsepower. Yeah, so, but I don't, six grand more for another second and a few more horsepower. Um, the Explorer, there's packages. Adventure versus Explorer, air compressor, dual front bumper tow hooks. <laughs> you have to get the Adventure package out of the tow hooks. <laughs> what is the war on tow hooks these days? There's a war going against these things. Um, okay, there's the interior looking differences. Uh, looks like I like the I'm gonna slow down for a second so Joe can see these, but looks like the adventure package has more wood, natural, yeah, natural grained ash wood, a warm feel, 360 degree audio system, provides rich sound, rear or gear guard, remote monitoring system, and in bed air compressor. That is the adventure, the explorer. The sport interior, so it's got matte black finishes, uh, performance stitched vegan leather seating. Woo! Yeah, it's vegan. Makes you want to go eat tofu, doesn't it? 
No, no, it does not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the Explorer is fine. So, but Explorer only comes, only comes in the quad mode. That's weird to change that. So, dual motor, large pack. Ooh, and look, they've got good colors. They do have good colors. I like the green. The green? Yeah, the green is looking sharp. Okay, so we built put the green on there. So our estimated price is $75,250. 75250 but we cannot get one. If I ordered one today, what's it going to say? I think it said 2023. We did explore. Because it says new pre-orders. Yeah. 2023. That that's at the earliest sometime it'd be sometime next year. So and I think the same thing with lightning too. So uh those are both gonna be you know not available. I don't know. I just think you should not freak out just yet. I don't know. I I, I mean I want to get something in order. I mean, well here's the thing, what are my choices? Okay, then if you want to get something on order, GMC AT4X. Right, but so, you know, you and I both know it's coming in on the pipeline, uh, as far as we our rumors are to know, but there's nothing else in the marketplace this year. That's true. So it's like, why wouldn't I place an order now? There's nothing else going to come out. I mean, Ram could still do something, but, you know, it, again, it's May, and they should have announced something by now. Yeah, it, it, Mike, I'm with you. It's like, it's, it should be coming soon. The, it, I'm going to make one more final point in Lightning is that the people on this um, comment thread talking about Lightning being such an amazing truck, this, that, and the other, uh, you guys didn't watch the video. I know. Like, where were you guys last <laughs> week? And where were you for the three videos, yeah. the reviews that I did? Yeah. I mean, you guys do help make the make the uh, decisions on this channel. If you're not going to watch the videos, then what's the what's the point of, of buying the truck? You know, I don't know. It seems kind of odd to me that what the kind of deal is. Uh, I can't go. I can't go midsize really that well. Brandon doesn't count for tax write-offs, so I don't know. I um, I don't know if technology, technology's kind of state. I don't know, Todd. There's so many discussions that happen with the it. Um, SUV doesn't count because it doesn't work for taxes too well. So really, half ton trucks or three quarter ton trucks is where it's got to be. And a three quarter ton, there's nothing new in three quarter ton. Although I would love to get a Ford F two fifty Tremor with a diesel. That'd be badass. I could not go visit Jill though, because it wouldn't fit in the street. <laughs> That'd be it kind would. of an interesting challenge. <laughs> it would. We would just have to. You you wouldn't be able to park it. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, I would hey. have to park it. I parked the Tundra just fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, because there was nobody on my street when you got there. Yes. Well, power wagon. Oh, I totally do a power wagon. Hmm. My there's a guy down the street that has a power wagon drives me down the street all, all day. I'm just like, oh, what the truck? Okay, so there's there's my choices. This is what's going on. I got. I'm thinking I'm gonna put an order in pretty soon. I think so. Put your comments down below. Let us know what you think about that kind of stuff. I know you guys keep saying like power power wagon. I love power wagon. I just like the payload. The payload in power wagon is so low. Um, the thing was the one I saw in, in New York was like 1,100 pounds, something like that. It's just ridiculously low. So you you can't really tow with it. That's the problem with it. It's a lot of fun though. Um, all right, I'm going to wrap it up tonight because I want to make sure uh, Jill's been at her parents. She's been on the road a lot. And uh, I was going to watch some hockey tonight. Hockey, eh? Hockey. Um, so I was going to do that. But yeah, so AT4X is the current front runner. I'm still thinking Denali Ultimate for 500 bucks more. I mean, come on, 500 bucks more. Um, the Silverado High Country is an interesting discussion point. 8,000, interesting discussion point. Jill says no. Um, I'm hoping that she changes her mind because, boy, 80 grand. It's a lot, Jill. She doesn't care. <laughs> She's like, you told me you spend your money. It's <laughs> your money. <laughs> All right. Go uh, for the Hummer. That's, that's where you need to be, the Hummer H1. <laughs> right. Or, yeah. yeah. The, the, no. the first edition or first first model. Yeah, that. that. You want me to spend your money? <laughs> Let, let's go do that. Uh, Doug, I can't. Th that's my this. That's my problem, Doug. Is he <laughs> says what? As long as you get the three liter diesel, you can't get the three liter diesel and the AT four X. You only get it the only ultimate. <laughs> Decisions making. It's so tough. This is why you guys email me. I email you back saying I don't know, and you guys are like, what do you mean you don't know? Well, because it's hard for me too. 
is what happens. All right, so we are gone. Next two weeks, we'll be in Wisconsin. We will be in Toyota's headquarters doing secretive behind the scenes, talking to our sources down there. Uh, we will be back in time a couple weeks. We will do live streams as we can because we know how much you guys love them. Again, put your comments down below. I can't do it, Doug, on, on my configurator. AT4X. It only comes 6.2 liter. All right. I'll tell you what. You can do it AT4. Am I on the same screen? All right. I was going to wrap this up, but Doug is, is the thing. So let's go back one more time. Vehicles. Sierra. Building first. We go. Got to go crew cab short box. That's what happens with AT4X. Trims. AT4X only comes 6.2 liter Ecotec V8. Only choice, Doug. I don't know how you're building yours, but it's the only choice. The AT4, the AT4 comes with it, but not the AT4X, which is the newer one. That's probably the confusion. All right, anyways, that's what's going on. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm like, that's probably what the deal is. But I'm going to go watch hockey, see the abs do tonight. Um, make sure you check out other videos on the channel, including the... Uh, Ford Lightning. The, <laughs> yeah, the, that everybody wants us to buy. Go watch those videos. Yeah, if you guys don't watch the videos, we cannot get to buy it. Watch the Ford Lightning. Yeah, AT4 comes with AT4 excellent comes. With, anyways, I think Doug figured that one out. Uh, like I said, that's all we got going on tonight. Um, I just want to thank everybody for being part of the channel. Big, uh, big thank you there. Big thank you, thank you to our new members. Do you know we have five members, Jill? I do. I saw the message. I think I think I get like four and you get like one. Or maybe the other <laughs> way around. Probably you get one, you get four. <laughs> we have members. It's cool. Uh, anyways, like I said, everybody have a good night. Uh, check out the videos down below and uh, let us know in the comments. What should we buy? It's very much a question. Yes. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.